Okay, it's often the case that something that might be very difficult to do by hand, like solving the system of equations. Um, so the procedure that we learned last time is called Gauss-Jordan elimination. So taking this matrix A and trying to row reduce it while doing the same thing to an identity to find the inverse of A, that's called Gauss-Jordan elimination. Gauss-Jordan elimination. with back substitution, so this plugging things back in is with back substitution. Um, so it's good to know substitution. It's good to know how to do these things, kind of have a cartoon in your head of what steps are going on, but it turns out that it's way, 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 way simpler to do this in MATLAB, okay? Especially, imagine that if this wasn't a three by three system, but it was a 10 by 10 system. Imagine I had 10 equations and 10 unknown variables. Doing this by hand would be extremely time consuming. It would take, you know, really long time, maybe an hour and many, many, many boards. But doing it in MATLAB is gonna be super simple and clean, okay? So I'm gonna show you a few ways to do this in MATLAB and you're gonna get a feeling for how powerful and, uh, and fast this really can be, okay? So the first thing we wanna do is, um, we're gonna try this out, we're gonna see if we can compute the inverse of A and just multiply it by B. That should work, right? So the first thing we wanna do is say, define our A matrix, A is equal to, and uh, we fortunately know what A is equal to, so A is uh, 1, 1, 1, followed by 2, 1, negative 1, followed by negative 1, 1, 1. Okay, so these are my rows. First row, second row, third row of A. And if I hit enter, it tells me, look, that's my A matrix. Good. Okay, now I want to enter my B vector. B equals all of these you know, 60, 50, 20, so 60 semicolon 50 semicolon 20. Um, I don't have to hit enter, I can just say, um, like I can write this 60 semicolon 50 semicolon 20 and MATLAB knows that that's a column vector 60, 50, 20. Okay, good. Now I'm gonna do a few things. There's actually lots and lots and lots of ways of solving this in MATLAB. Some of them are faster than others and I'm gonna show you um, lots and lots of different ways and then tell you which ones are the best, okay? So the first thing we could do is we could actually compute the inverse of A. I could say A inv, this is a new variable called A inv, equals the inverse of A. So this is a built-in MATLAB function, inv of A, and it's gonna give me the inverse of my matrix A, and if I hit enter, this is the inverse of A. And this should look familiar because we actually solved for this in the last, uh, the last part of this lecture, right? So it's one half, zero, minus a half, minus a quarter, one half, three quarters, three quarters, minus a half, minus a quarter. Okay, this is the same A inverse that we solved for before, painfully by hand using Gauss-Jordan elimination with back substitution. Great. Okay, so my solution X should be A inverse times B. So x equals a inv times b, okay? And we see that our solution is correct. So this tells me that the first component, which is Sally's age, is 20. The second component, which is John's age, is 25. And the third component, which is Bob's age, is 15. So this is the right answer. We solved it by hand. This is definitely the right answer. Um, and this is one way to do it. x equals a inverse times b. I could equally well write x equals, I don't have to store the inverse of A into a matrix. I could just say inv of A times B. It's totally fine. So what MATLAB's going to do is it's going to solve for the inverse of A and then right afterwards it's gonna multiply it by B and just give me back x. So this also gives me the correct answer, totally fine, okay? Now in MATLAB, there is a really, 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 really powerful um, built-in command, and we're gonna call it, um, we're gonna call it the backslash, okay? So in MATLAB, 
you're going to say x equals a backslash b. Okay, I write semicolons, you don't have to write a semicolon. Um, and what this is going to do, whenever you type x equals a backslash b, MATLAB knows that you're trying to solve this equation, ax equals b, you're trying to solve it for x, and it's going to use the fastest method that it has. It has, you know, dozens and dozens of methods to solve this equation, and it's going to find the fastest one depending on your particular A matrix. Okay, so for some A matrices, if it's symmetric or diagonal or sparse or mostly zeros or whatever, MATLAB has special tools that are faster than doing this Gauss-Jordan elimination. And so this is like x equals inverse of a times b, except it's the fastest version that MATLAB can come up with. Okay, so this should also work. If I type x equals a backslash b, I should get the same correct solution. So x equals a backslash b also gives me the correct values of Sally, John, and Bob's age. Excellent. Okay, so already we've seen two different methods. We can do the inverse uh, of a times b, and we can do this backslash a backslash b. And it turns out that this is about um, ballpark of two, two and a half times faster. So this is about 2.5 times faster, which that's a lot, right? If you're doing a big matrix inverse, it might take, you know, five minutes. And if it takes two minutes instead, that's awesome. Okay. Um, Great, that's how you do matrix inverses. Um, okay, so what we're going to see next time is what happens. So I told you that there's always, you know, so we're, we're doing this Gauss Jordan elimination. We find this inverse, uh, A inverse, and we can solve for x by A inverse times B. But I did hint that sometimes this A matrix won't be invertible. It won't have an inverse. There won't be a matrix A inverse that when you multiply it by A gets the identity. And so in those cases, we say that the system is degenerate or um, singular. And what that means is that there's no good solution to this system. And so we'll have to kind of figure out ways around that. So that's what we're going to look at next time.